Today we're going to talk about the hydrogen bond. The hydrogen bond occurs between molecules themselves. Previously we mentioned the ionic and the covalent bonds and we knew that they occur between atoms or inside the molecules, but not between a molecule and another one. Here is different in the hydrogen bonds. First of all, let's uh, take the water molecule as an example. Water consists of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. This gives us a molecular mass of uh, 2 for 1 times 2 for hydrogen plus 16 for oxygen. This gives us 18 grams per mole. And the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. If we take another atom, for example, hydrogen sulfide, H2S, we will have a molecular mass of 2 plus 32, 32 for sulfur. This gives us 34 grams per mole. So accordingly, we will expect that the boiling point of hydrogen sulfide will be much higher than that of water because it has a higher molecular mass. But on the contrary, we find that the boiling point of hydrogen sulfide is negative 61 degrees Celsius, much lower than that of water. So the point here is not the molecular mass, but the formation of the hydrogen bonds. So what are the hydrogen bonds? If we examine the structure of the molecule of water, we will find that oxygen is bonded to two hydrogen atoms in covalent bonds and that the electronegativity of oxygen is about 3.5 so it's very high compared to hydrogen and accordingly it always attracts the electrons in the covalent bonds so they are most of the time found in the in the bond orbitals of the oxygen atom but we cannot say that Oxygen takes the electron for all the time. Sometimes the electrons go to the hydrogen atoms. So in this case, we cannot put a negative charge on the oxygen. Not a full negative charge, but instead we add a partial negative charge. A partial negative charge. We refer to it as gamma negative. So oxygen takes this partial negative charge and hydrogens take the positive partial charge because they are donating the electrons for most of the time. Yeah, they take it sometime, but for most of the time, they are with the oxygen. Now, in this case, this molecule is called a polar molecule because it contains poles, positive poles and a negative pole. Okay. Now, if we have another molecule of water, So this oxygen is, has a partial negative charge. The hydrogen here makes a bond due to the difference in the electronegativity between the two atoms. And this bond is, is the hydrogen bond. This is the hydrogen bond. Or it's called also the hydrogen bridge, but most commonly the hydrogen bond. So, this bond, of course, increases the attraction forces between molecules and accordingly it increases the boiling point because at this temperature, the bond is, is broken. The bond is broken between the hydrogen and oxygen. So, for boiling the water, first you need to break the hydrogen bonds. But in the hydrogen sulfide, it's not the case. Uh, it's not the same case. That's why it, it has a much lower boiling. 